What's up guys, Bobby here, and today we have another tournament video for you guys. So I've been noticing a lot of success with these tournament videos. You guys seem to absolutely just love this pro gameplay. You guys love learning from it, learning about team compositions, learning about habits, etc. So we're going to show you one more. So right here, what we have for you today is the first official NA Open Invitational Supercell Ran Tourney. So what this is, is there's going to be eight weeks. So we just went through the first week. There are going to be eight different weeks in which there are tournaments. Last uh, last week's was 18 plus. The upcoming one is going to be 16 plus. And my teammates for this were myself, obviously, OG and Daddy Squashy. So you guys are very familiar with OG. He's been on my channel before pretty recently, about like a couple weeks ago. And I promise you guys we're going to be doing more videos with him. So we're actually going to be getting into a voice call with him, watching over the replays and talking about why we won, the plays that made the game uh, plays that we did poorly, what we did poorly, things that we can improve on, and that's about it. So we're going to hop into a VC with OG, we're going to go through the entire games, the format, it was super crazy, so it's a best of five sets, so you have to win three sets, and each set is three games, so for example, the first set, I believe it was, um, I believe it was Gem Grab, if I'm not mistaken, Gem Grab might have been second, I remember Siege was one of the sets, I think, and Heist was one of the sets, um, there was two more, I'm not going to spoil it, but we only needed three because one of the teams won in three games. Spoil, spoil. But with that being said, you know, I'm going to put OG's channel link in the description below. If you don't already subscribe, go do it because he's an awesome player. He posts very similar content to mine. And since you guys are subbed to my channel watching this, you're obviously going to love what he has to show. So with that being said, let's hop into the first game and let's hop into a VC with OG. Okay, so the first game was Bounty on Snake Prairie. And we actually drawed the first match, so this is just a redo of it. But we had the same comp, and you know, you'll see they get the start first, and we're just kind of like feeling everything out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically the strategy is to like just trying to get up, get that star, and try and gain some position. Um, yeah, and then Bobby's just going like Rosa <laughs> mode on them. I'm like on the other side of the map, like not doing anything. <laughs> just feeling out the other side of the map over there. Nice pull there, from Squashy, um, and then Bobby corners Alec, who probably shouldn't be out there, to be fair, but... Mm -hmm. um, so you can see we're at like a pretty like good place right here, starting the game out. Mm -hmm. Bobby with the OP carry so far, as usual. Mm, did you mean Rozo? <laughs> okay, so I was going for a pull there, and then I got pulled like mid-pull, so it was really messy, but um, Bobby's still alive. And because of that Rosa shield, Alec gets too high again. And unfortunately, Bobby gets pulled in the process, but we do take out Alec and Squashy just misses his pull. Yeah, so it's like 10 to 9 for them right now. They have decent positioning as well as one of the sides is for the most part broken. So it's super hard for us to go up on that side. I think OG and Squashy are just trying to get their super. I went a little bit too aggro. Yeah, so 9 to 12 now and 30 seconds left. But we're just kind of feeling them out, like me and Squashy are building up our alts, I'm sure Bobby's close to his at this point. And even though they have a bit of a lead, that Rosa has five stars on her. So if we kill the Rosa, then it's GG. Yeah, so right here we're just moving up, they're getting backed up basically into a corner. And we know for the most part about where they are, and Squashy and OG are super close to super. So we're at this point just going in on them. Yeah, so Rosas are just doing their thing a little bit. Squashy does get his pull here, and he pulls Alec, which like in turn kills me, which is unfortunate. I was like mm -hmm. one shot from pull. Um, but then Bobby's just like being Rosa and cleaning up. So we managed to take the first game 17 to 15, and you know, it was really close. GG's to them. Yeah, for sure. That was definitely a close, scary one, but we did end up on top after the first tie. We ended up winning by one star, so it was definitely a crazy close map. Okay, so here we go. So we're running the Piper, the uh, the Gene, and obviously the Rosa, just because Rosa is absolutely broken. And basically, we're just going. We're trying to start. We're trying to start off by winning our lane. Squashy again went for the middle star, but again they were able to get it before us. OG hit that really good snipe on Alec. OG went off this game, for the That's most part. That's just what I do. <laughs> so um, I see Keith's like a little too high. Bobby cleans him up a bit. Squashy and Alec, they're not going to be able to do very much there. Um, I do like. I broke the bush so we could always kind of have like eyes on the gene because a gene pulls like obviously the biggest threat right here. So mm -hmm. we start off the game pretty strong again. Yeah, for the most part, I just see Keith as an advantage on me. So I'm basically just standing in that corner, letting Keith waste all the shots while OG 
in Squashy. I feel like you're going to have the advantage, so I basically just let them try and carry and get the stars for that at this point. Yeah, I think I also remember you falling asleep at this point. Um, <laughs> so, uh, me and Squashy just kind of doing our thing. Bobby like wakes up, he like realizes that he's playing the game, pushes up on Keith, gets his pull, and you'll see Nick misses his pull on the right side. Um, but Keith does get his turn out, which is going to be really big. Oh, he just gets away with 100 HP there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was very sad, but I was able to go up there and clean it up. Yeah, so I jump back to help Squashy. I know that shield's running out, and I managed to clean up. I and Bobby gets a good pull. pull. And you can just see, we're like dominating this game. Mm -hmm. It's not definitely not as close as the last one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so OG's basically just putting in a bunch of work, you know, containing that middle, keeping Keith back, keeping Alec back. I'm basically in the back with my super, because I have most of the stars, so I don't want to get in any trouble. Um, this is kind of a misplay. I pulled Alec over here. Obviously don't want to pull a Rosa towards you, but thank God OG was able to come and hit him and protect me. Uh, yeah. Easy juke on Nick over there, and then me and OG were able to clean him up. Yeah, so we pretty much dominated that game from the start. I think Viper was a really good pick to their penny. You didn't see them get too much value out of their turret because we played it pretty back. Um, and obviously the turret only has so much range, so definitely a GG from our part. Okay, so for the next set, since we won Bounty, um, it's Gem Grab, and the first map is Undermine. Now, this is obviously going to be a strong map for Rosa, so we decided to go with Shelly, and they got Tara. Unfortunately, I didn't know they doubled up on my lane, so you can see I tap Alec, and then I move up because I'm a little confident that I can like, keep pushing him, and keep just, like, Rosa's me. Mm -hmm. And basically from that point on, me and Squashy were forced into the right grass in which they are able to just to take full control from there. And it's so hard to push up against an enemy Rosa just because she's so strong and takes so much to take her out. And when we do, we're at such low HP that we can't push up and go for the other guys. Yeah, so I'm just getting pinched here. I managed to get my super, but unless I can actually get into that left side, I can't be too useful because they can just stay out of the right side and control mid. Mm -hmm. At this point, we had some form of of control, but I didn't want to go too far in. Squashy goes down and Nick hit a really good pull on me, so again, we lose that position just as quick as we got it. Uh, OG's just gonna get sucked and just triple team basically yeah, at that point. the suck like just catches me and, you know, Keith's playing aggro, um, they're at nine gems. So we know we have to make something happen at this point, but with a Rosa in front of us and she uses her super, um, it's gonna be really tough. Right, really good play on Nick's part to basically hold me back because one of the best ways to come back obviously is hitting that gene pull. But be Keith being able to stall me out in our spawn until five seconds left didn't make, like basically made it impossible. Mm -hmm. And we almost managed to get Nick. I don't know how close Squashy was to Super, but you know they pretty much dominated that game. I'll give him that one. Mm -hmm, for sure, GG's to them there. Big domination. Yeah, so basically here, we're going to be running uh, Jean, Rosa, and Carl. They're obviously going to be running a mirror comp. These are the three best brawlers in the game by a mile. So you have OG facing a Carl mirror lane, myself facing a Jean mirror, and obviously Squashy facing that Rosa on mirror lane. So it's basically whoever can win their lane against against the opponent better will be able to win this game. Yeah, you see we started out the game really strong, and we all dominated our lanes mid, and... We kind of have them right where we want them, but as soon as like Gene gets his pull, we'll have to play like a little more passive, uh, just because of the threat of getting Gene pulled. Exactly. At this moment of competitive Brawl Stars, everything is about that Gene pull. Your play style, you know, how you're playing. As you can see now, myself and Runic both have pull. We're both basically afraid to go into the middle of that map, because we don't want to die and give up not only the gems, but the other team, the entirety of the mid, which leads to control. Yeah, I saw Nick getting in that bush, so I choose to back up a little bit. You know, Bobby flashes his super to Alec. You can see him being a little more cautious than he was a few seconds ago. Right. Um, and we're go ahead. We're just, we're just kind of like feeling each other out right now. Right. So basically, Keith made a really aggressive play, and I went over to the corner to help uh, squash you out with Keith. Alec is gonna push up on me, and I'm gonna let OG talk over this part because this is just a crazy play by him. Yeah. So I saw Alec overextending, and you know that leaves Nick completely vulnerable. So I just use my super on him, and. Um, luckily, Bobby was able to take out Alec, and Squashy managed, or Keith managed to take out Squashy. But you know, at this point, we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. We just got to watch out for that gene pull. 
Right, so we, we definitely mentioned Ochi a bunch of times screaming the VC that Keith was hiding in those bushes. So although it was the <laughs> long way, OG took the safe route and went over to the left side so he wouldn't have died. And that gave us the win right there for the second gem grab game. Okay, so the decider for gem grab is escape velocity. And personally, I can't stand this map. Um, but you can see that we probably have a bit of a slight comp advantage, especially since I got matched with the spike on my lane. Um, but Keith's being really aggro at first, so he just jumps into our side, and that's going to like take all of our attention because he's getting that healing from the bush, and that allows them all to push up. Yeah, so basically that helped us. Not only did he go super aggro and it backed us up, but also basically charged all of our supers, or basically did charge it. I was able to take out Alec on that right side uh, to help OG move up. Squashy and uh, Keith are just battling it out, and again, I pulled Alec over there just because it's a free lane win for OG, and we can focus that mid. Mm -hmm. So Nick can't really do anything. You'll see Keith trying to jump back there again, but Squashy stays right with him this time. And, um, you know, we can just double up on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So we know that Nick has super right now. And he doesn't know exactly where in the bush we are, so I'm constantly moving left and right. I was able to pull Alec over there for like a third time of the game, and Nick was able to, <laughs> Nick was able to miss his pull, which is super, super good for us. So thus, we're allowed to go really aggressive again and start to dominate them. Yeah, so you'll see, I'm just kind of like keeping Alec back in spawn a little bit. He does have like a little bit of an RNG spot on me there, so it doesn't matter. I can take a few of those shots. Um, I'm pretty tanky, so I'm just kind of like holding that position so we don't get pushed back. Right, at this point my goal basically wasn't to charge the gene super. It took him a while, but he did get it. So again, we have to play super, super, super defensive so that, again, we don't lose all the gems and we lose the game. Yeah, so you'll see me trying to bait out Nick's super, and I'm just like not trying to feed Alec too much, and I do manage to bait out his super there, and that's definitely going to be a big help for us, because they can't really pull one of us and win a lane and then take mid. Right, so basically I was able to try, and, well not myself, but OG was able to super rain and get those, uh, get those couple of gems. And obviously Squashy using his super was able to go pick up the gems in the middle over there. Yeah, Squashy struggling a little bit to pick up a gem, but he managed to figure it out okay. And now we got Countdown in our base, and it's looking pretty good for us. Mm -hmm, right, we're able to just... We don't want to fall back. That's the worst thing that you can possibly do is fall back and let them go into your corner. So we stayed kind of towards the middle, but not too aggressive, just so we can maintain that, uh, that control type thing, and we can always continuously dominate them. Okay, so here we go into the next game. So OG, very comfortable with Rico here, wanted to go Rico. And we don't have a wall breaker because we needed to run Rosa because that's just the meta right now. And Squashy was going to go Carl. So Squashy actually just left and let the bowl basically go right by us, which usually isn't a good decision. Alec was a little bit indecisive, so it took him a while to get up to us. But OG got went down, you know, there's three tanks around him and without warning from anyone, so not much he can do. And yeah, we're just defending at this point while Squashy's on the safe. Yeah, so you can see Squashy's doing really good damage on the safe, but they have three tanks on our safe. So Rosa Supers takes me out. Bobby is managing to clean up a little bit with his Rosa Super. And, you know, despite how low ours is, we do have the damage here. Mm -hmm, exactly. So although that wasn't the most ideal way to play the game, that was a very quick win for us. Um, it was a little bit hectic and a bit crazy, but, you know, we're, we'll take any win we can get. Yeah, a win's a win. <laughs> Okay, so for the second map of Heist, it is Forks Out, and you can see we both have double tanks and then the long range brawler. I chose Rico because it's high DPS against the tanks, and you know, a Brock's good against a Rico, but if a tank gets on the safe, a Brock's not gonna be able to do too much. Right, and especially on this map, you know, we knew they were gonna run a double tank, and Rico with that pierce damage with the super absolutely shreds, so I think it was a really good decision on our part to not go Brock, but instead go with Ricochet. Oh, yeah, you can see our tanks just kind of like overpower them and manage to get really good safe damage already. I'm just chipping it. Keith's hitting me a little bit, but you know, I managed to back up and just stay alive. And their safe's already at 48%. Right, Squashy's hiding in the right grass over there. They all overextend and then he's able to just charge in there. Uh, we're doing a good job on defense, not really letting too much happen, but they do come up and push up and be super aggro right now. Yeah, so... Again, 1% on, on their safe and 70 on ours, so we're pretty confident at this point. 
Um, Bobby's like running up. He does get his Rosa all, and you know, that's just what Rosa does. And he can just literally just like steamline his way to their safe and finish it off. So yeah, that's going to be it, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the Duel VC with OG, you know, we'll definitely try and do it again. We're playing one of these every single week. Again, it's called the Brawl Stars NA Open, hosted by Supercell. And it's actually being streamed on the official Brawl Stars Twitch. You know, there was 2,500 spectators on the last one. Well, it peaked at that. There are probably so many more unique ones, but it peaked at 2,500 at the same time. And yeah, so if you guys want to see more competitive gameplay alongside in a VC with OG, we can definitely continuously do this on a week-by-week -week basis for the next eight weeks. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. GG's to our, both of our close friends, Keith, Runic, and Alec. You know, they're great players, great streamers. So check them out if you guys like going on Twitch and watching streamers. But with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video today. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. That's going to be it. I will catch you guys later. Peace.